really strange voice, you know? <laughs> it's one of modification. How about now? Now is better, okay. much better. Yeah, I forgot you want to, to be a mult like uh, <laughs> in film. I don't. With Bob Hoskins about uh, Roger, Roger Rabbit. The um, chipmunks. I mean the chipmunks. I don't remember who who trying to kill Rabbit Roger like this. <laughs> Do you remember this film? Um, it's an old. It's an old movie, right? Yeah. 1889. 80, 89. Mm. Actually, I don't even. I didn't even hear myself, so I don't know what I sound like. Yeah. Now it's normal. Now it's yeah. okay. You know what it is. I don't do it on purpose. It's just that there's something wrong with my um, microphone settings. Every time I I start my uh, hangout, I have to because I have two microphone settings. You see, default and then the actual microphone. So what happens is if I don't change it to one of them, it's going to sound strange. And every morning I have to do that, or every time I start a lesson. So one time it's default, the next lesson it's going to be the actual microphone. It's a very strange thing. I don't know how to fix it. So um, I'm stuck with it. Yeah. So anyways, um, welcome everyone. Hello, Xenia. Hello. Hi, Lydia. Hello. Nikita, good morning. Uh, actually, uh, hi, good evening. Yeah. Good evening to you, yes. And Natalia. Good morning, good morning. How are you, Natalia? Uh, I'm okay, thank you. Long time no see. How yes. have you been? Sad story, and it's. I don't know how all our company will live without without uh, English lesson. Ah, oh, I know. It, it became our tradition. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, we have about uh, two weeks, I think, or less than two weeks. Um, I have read uh, that it uh, um, the end will be at the thirty of May. The end of May. End of May. Not, not, no, no, not, not May. March. 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 Tenth. Not, Tenth of March. Not ten, but thirty. Thirtieth, really? I said it is today. Oh, must they must have changed it? Yes. No. I have thirty of. Hmm. Did anyone else hear this news? Oh no no no! It's my my lesson my lesson till. Till May now, ten of March. Yes, this is the this is the day. Tenth of March will be the last day. You uh, you should uh, write a letter to Lincoln. Return and your money. They, yes, and they yeah. refund refund your money. Yeah, they should refund you that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe it's a little bit late because they wrote until twenty. Six of uh, no, it's okay. I think with yes. data, yes, mm. because mm -hmm. it's money. <laughs> no, the, you have two options. Until twenty sixth of February, you can refund your monies, or if you don't have this, uh, uh, you need to pay for uh, some some courses. Four courses. Yeah? Yes. yes, English, uh, business English. Uh, uh, irregular verbs. Uh, what else? Uh, ah, IELTS, uh, general and academic IELTS. Strange, strange. Okay. Senior, do you have? Uh, I don't know. My husband uh, do it or did it. I don't know. My husband did. My husband works. But if, but if they um, must refund you a lot of money, it, I think they don't uh, offer you because of this. Yeah. I uh, they ref refund me only uh, for two days and I refuse of refund and I agree to have another course. I mean, uh, business English. Okay, I ask. Thank you. Yeah, maybe it's the best just to ask them, see what they say. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right, guys. So. Um, we almost have a full class, one more spot to be filled. 
Um, but anyways, are we happy? It's the weekend. Yes. <laughs> yes. We got to be excited. It's only morning here for me, so um, yeah, I still have a long day ahead of me. Um, but for most of you, it's ha almost halfway. <clears throat> so um, let us begin with our lesson, shall we? We are continuing with our traveling in English series. So here we have um, a new PDF, and it's about checking into a hotel and asking for a different room. I'm sure we all have used a hotel in our past. Um, so we have some interesting vocabulary that we can relate to or remember or learn. What a difficult question. What's a hotel? Natalia, tell me, what, what what's a hotel? How would you explain in English? Ho hotel is a place where, uh, where a lot of people can can sleep or can live for a long time, or maybe one night. It may yeah. be uh, uh, apartment, one apartment, and it can be... Uh, a big house, motel. It's a place where lodging yeah. for travelers, tra travelers, lodging. Mm -hmm. Good, yes. Yeah. yeah, both of you are correct, yeah. That's it. <clears throat> a place where, you know, people can stay for a night or more, <clears throat> a few nights. Usually when they are traveling or they are not mm, in their home city or country. Okay, so then, where can we find hotels? Nikita? Everywhere. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe uh, except of uh, wild, wildness. wildness. No, no, Buni and uh, <laughs> in the Buni, <laughs> yeah. and and in desert, desert, desert is desert. Yes, in the desert. Desert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. But Las Vegas, we have in desert, and there oh, are a lot yeah, of hotels. Yeah. I mean, uh, in general, this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. In the forest. These are buildings. <laughs> Yes, where there's no civilization, basically, in it. there is no hotels. Yeah, good. So we can find them, you know, pretty much anywhere. You know, it doesn't have to be a, a a touristic location. It can be any any city or any city center will have a hotel. You know, it might not uh, be the highest quality. It might just be four star, perhaps five star. Uh, because people do business, so they need to stay somewhere close to work, and usually in city centers is what, where they work. So, have any of you stayed in a hotel? Yes. Yes. Okay. Any experiences you want to share, like um, our fancy hotel, and really, has anyone ever stayed in in Dubai, for example, in the seven star hotel? Seven star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it, is it exist? Yes. yes. On a pal, but now seven. I haven't ever stayed at seven stars. I think it's a lot of a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. They are very <laughs> expensive per night. It's but maybe. there are a lot of Russians, and I think it's not such interesting for Russians. Maybe from Europe people or something like that. Hmm. Okay, so what what kind of hotel um, do you think would be nice to stay at? And what what location? What country? <laughs> What's the scenery? Maybe four. Uh, it depends of uh, amount of money. Four or five, it's good. Four yeah. maybe. Four or five star hotel. 
nhé. Okay. Do you, when you, for example, when you're holidaying or you're on vacation, do you look for a hotel that's, um, you know, has, is a really good hotel, is in high quality, or is convenience more important to you, as in being close to where you'd like to go and visit? What do you think is priority for you? It's for me, it's convenience. Mm -hmm. Because I like sights, sightseeing um, trip. I mean, I don't like to lie on the beach only, and I like to new something, know something new, uh -huh. new place, new sights. But uh, I'll say excursion. Excursion, yeah. Excur yes, excursion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. I think. Probably most of most of us can relate to you and agree with you. Convenience is probably mo most important rather than having a glam glamorous hotel and really expensive one. Because we go on vacation not to stay inside a bed a bedroom of a hotel. We go there to uh, just sleep and then enjoy the sightseeing. Um, so how do we book a room? Who can demonstrate? By booking, <laughs> we have uh, such site. I think you and you have too, but only yeah. in Russia we have. I don't know. And booking. Make, mm -hmm. and okay. And 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 many people, uh, uh, people book photo via travel agency because mm. not all of Russian know English. And True. Yes. <laughs> That's a very important point. Yeah. So there are various ways online, like Senia mentioned, we can get online ourselves. Um, you know, when you're booking your flight or whatever means you're using to travel, at the same time you can rent a car, you can book a hotel, you can do many things. Or if you're at the travel agency, the travel agent can sort everything out for you. Or you can just do it the traditional way and call them up, use the phone. But that usually it's more expensive. All right, uh, what's a mini bar? Stars, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. It's a refrigerator in the apartment. In exactly. The apartment. With yeah. a lot of drinks, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. <laughs> and beers. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Special, special for you. Yeah. Belgium, yeah. Belgian beers. Hopefully. I think not. It's yeah. it's rare. I think. Is it not common uh, internationally? I don't think. Did, did you say? Did you see at mini bar a Belgian beer? No. So. Well, I don't drink, so I don't pay attention to that. So. You don't drink at all? Not at all. Oh. oh my condolences. Condolences. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> my condolences. <laughs> <laughs> I drink healthy stuff. I stay away from alcohol. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I haven't noticed since I don't pay attention to it. Yeah, but a mini bar definitely is the little fridge refrigerator that we can find in our room, in our hotel room, and um, it has some refreshments inside, like you know, beverages, uh, maybe chocolate bars and so on. Alrighty. Not a whole bunch of words here, just eight. I think probably all of you know uh, what they mean. So, Natalia, let's start with you. Could you match the first word? Uh, current? Oh, current. Oh, uh, expenses, money spent, and costs. Mm. That's currency, perhaps, but this is current. Maybe it's C. C, no? Yes. Mm. Now, yeah. Current, what's, 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 um, like, you know, currently, I'm, currently I'm 
um, on vacation. Um, when something is happening at this current time, how can we use current in a sentence? Current uh, folder not is not exist. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, the current. Uh, it's I just uh, how to recall one uh, message. Current uh, current folder not is not exist. Oh yes, good. When, yeah. when I delay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a common thing you hear. That nobody there, or it's a wrong number or something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I think we get it, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, ready. Stas. I think it's prepared for use. If. Yeah, that's it. I'm ready to go. Yes. <laughs> that's it. You're ready to go out. You're ready to um, go out for a walk or anything. Very good. Settle. Nikita. Maybe <clears throat> to accept. Yes, no? very good. Yeah, accept. Hmm. How can we use this in a sentence? Uh, I can't settle your offer. No. Oh yes, yes. Why not? <clears throat> oh, <coughs> we need to settle the. Um, the charges we need to settle the bill we need to make the payment so it needs to be uh, resolved uh, sorted out uh, an agreement re needs to be reached you need to work it out you need to accept it there are many different you know synonyms to this okay four Lydia change um it's D, expenses, money, spent, cost. Yes, good. I think it's verb to change. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. uh, why <clears throat> expenses, money, ah, money spent. Exchanges. Changes. Uh, for for is correct. The expenses, money spent, costs. It's change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, change. And what is changes? Changes. May may make, make different. Maybe. Yeah. To, to make, make different. But um, I think no, no. It's uh, yeah. it correct. Uh, I think changes is D. Yeah. A change is make because change is verb and to make a different. Yes, it's maybe. Let's see. Okay. Unless it's they changes to change. Yeah, perhaps you're right. Yeah, it makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a mix up then. To change, yeah, is like the verb to make different and then changes mm -hmm. expenses. Mm -hmm. Money spent. Unless what I'm thinking about is. You know the change this, uh, when you pay for something and you in return get the change for it. Do you understand? You know you get the small money back in return. So if you you buy a chocolate bar, you give them five dollars and they give you the change in return. Coins. Yeah, like coins. Or, but that, none of them actually explain it properly, so it's a bit strange. Um, so let's let's stick with that. A to make different is to change, and then changes will be expenses. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, A, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I change my mind about something. <laughs> yeah. I change my mind about something, or I need to change my clothes um, into something more comfortable. Okay, snacks. Senior. It's food eaten between breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Yes. Sit. Uh, for sportsmen, it's very. Uh, how to say? 
it's very able to have snacks between the ordinary meals. Yes, very good sentence. It's good. We all like to have some snacks. Okay, Natalia, seven. Our possibility, possibility to accept. Anama, mm, maybe prepare no. to prepare to use. It's now. Mm -hmm. It's maybe, maybe yes, maybe not. Mm -hmm. A chance. Yes, I think so. Yes. Yeah, a chance. A possibility is a chance. Yes. Very good. You've heard of this word before, right, Natalia? Possibility? Uh, no, yes, I, I know this word, possibility. Okay. Um, possibility. I have... I have possibility uh, in choosing between... between how to... Mm -hmm. how to do or how to make. Yeah? Yeah. I have a possibility. I have possibility to think to think about which holiday to take or where to travel. Yeah. I have possibility to to choose travel. Yeah, I have a possibility, I have a great possibility uh, now to choose where to travel. Yeah, maybe you have a day off from work and this is a great, you know, you have a good possibility, a good opportunity would be more suitable in that case perhaps. Choose road. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, to choose the, the best um, holiday or route, yeah. Okay, last one. Stas. Uh, work out, I think it's self fix, it's E. Yes. I'm trying to work out my problems. Mm -hmm. Good, yes. I'm trying to work out my problems. So here it's a phrasal verb. But when it's, you know when you go to the gym, you want to um, do a workout. How do we spell it then? If it's a noun. I think it's a question for Xenia. <laughs> <laughs> and now together, I think, without blank. Yes, yes, very good. It's one word. Mm -hmm. So I did uh, a crazy workout this morning. I'm exhausted. So workout in this case as a noun would be spelled together as one word. All right. Ta-da! I love the <laughs> dialogue. Oh, we have Miss Smithton. Oh, what a what a nice name. Smithton. <clears throat> a bit of a uh, tricky, maybe a tongue twister. And we have the hotel desk clerk and Bill. Okay, so. The hotel desk clerk only says one sentence, one line. Um, so let us start. We'll get Nikita and Lydia. Uh, Nikita, you can be the the character in blue. So the clerk and Bill. Okay. Uh, hello. Welcome to to the Smart Man Hotel. My name is Bill. How can I help you? I need to check. In. Do you have a reservation? Yes, I made the reservation last month. What name did you use to reserve the room? Smithson. That's spelled S M Y T H T O N. Uh, thank you. Let me locate your reservation in our computer. What brings you to Virginia? I'm here to visit friends. My university classmates are meeting here for a reunion. Reunion. I reunion. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that sounds like fun. Uh, here it is. We have room 813 for you. It's a double on the 8th floor. 
I requested a non-smoking double. Is this room non-smoking? Actually, no. Our eighth floor is a smoking floor. Oh, that's disappointing. Is there any possibility that you can change uh, that for me? <laughs> ah, oh, yes. I, I'd, I'd really prefer non-smoking room. Uh, let me see what I can do. Uh, here we go. Room uh, 250 is a single. The current occupant is due to check out in an hour. We can clean that room for you. The second floor is completely non-smoking. Well, I'll settle for that, if that is all you have. But I was hoping to have a double since one of my friends might stay with me later this week. Uh, I see. Let me look at the seventh floor. Mr. Smith, um, we can work this out. Room 711 uh, has been serviced and it's ready to go. It's a double room and it's on one of our non-smoking floors. That will be great. Thank you. <clears throat> My pleasure. Uh, do you need one key or two? Just one, please. Here you go. The mini bar is fully stocked with water, juices and snacks. A price list is in the room. Would you like me to put the hotel charges on the credit card you used to reserve the room? Yes, my MasterCard will be fine. Thank you. Enjoy your stay at the Smartman. Please visit our concierge on front desk if there is, a, there is anything you need. We'll be happy to do what we can to make your time with us enjoyable. Very good. Excellent. Well done. Yeah. <clears throat> that was really good. Uh, no other corrections. Um, perhaps, um, yeah, maybe a bit more enthusiasm <laughs> <laughs> and intonation. In the morning, in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> must be early or either late. <laughs> it must be really late at night <laughs> for, um, for Bill. Yeah, okay. Um, there's one thing I wanted to maybe mention. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, um, Stas. There's no beer. It's just juices, mm, yeah. snacks. Belgian beer. <laughs> beer is not, not something amazing or special, but Belgian beer is it. So if we're talking about Belgian beer, please call me. But if we're talking about beer, just ignore me. Okay. Okay. Uh, you no should read this uh, article. <laughs> mm. Oh, yes. Okay, let's hear it again now. Xenia and Natalia. So, um, disregard the name Bill. Um, Xenia, would you like to be the clerk and Bill? Yes. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Hello, welcome to the Smart Man Hotel. My name is Bill. How can I help you? I need to check in. Do you have a reservation? Yes, I made the reservation last month. What name did you did you did you use to reserve the room? Uh, Smithton. What's spelled S M Y T H E T O N. Thank you. Let me locate your reservation on our computer. What brings you to Virginia? I'm here to visit friends. My university classmates are meeting here for for a reunion. That sounds like fun. Here it is. You have room eight one. Three for you. It's a double on the eighth floor. Uh, I request a non-smoking double. Is this room non-smoking? Actually, no. Our eighth floor is a smoking floor. Oh, that's disappointing. Is there any possibility that you can change from change that for me? I really, I I really prefer a non-smoking room. Let me see what I can do. Ah, here we go. Room 250 is a single. The current occupant is due to check out in, a, in an hour. We can clean the room for you. And second floor is completely non-smoking. Well, I'll settle for that if, that if that is all you have. But I have. But I was hoping to have a double since one of the, my friends might stay with me with me later this week. I see. Let me look at the seventh floor. Miss Smithson, we can walk out, walk this out. 
Uh, room 711 has been served and is ready to go. It's a double room and it's one of our non-smoking floors. That will be great. Thank you. My pleasure. Do you need the do you need one key or two? Just one, please. Here you go. The mini bar is fully stocked with water, juices and snacks. A price list is on the room. Would you like me to put the hotel charges in on the credit card you use to reserve the room? Yes, my MasterCard will be fine. Thank you. Enjoy your stay as a smart man. Please visit our concierge on front or front desk if there is anything you need. I'll be happy to do what you can to make your time with us enjoyable. Very good. Excellent. That was a good one. All right. Thank you very much. Let's keep it going. Um, Stas and Nikita. Stas, you can be uh, Bill. Cool. And Opa, not too far. And Nikita, you can be Mr. Smithton. Okay. Uh, <coughs> hello, welcome to the Smartman Hotel. My name is Bill. How can I help you? I need to check in. Do you have a reservation? Yes, I made the reservation last month. What name did you use to reserve the room? Smithton. Uh, that's spelled S M Y T H T O N. Thank you. Let me locate your reservation in our computer. What brings you to Virginia? I'm here to visit friends. My university classmates are meeting here for reunion. That sounds like fun. Here it is. We have room 813 for you. It's a double on the 8th floor. Uh, I requested a non-smoking double. Is this room non-smoking? Uh, actually, no. Our 8th floor is a smoking floor. Oh, that's disappointing. Is there any pos possibility that you can change that for me? I'd really prefer a non-smoking room. Uh, let me see what I can do. Ah, here we go. Room 250 is a single. The cured occupant is due to check out in, a, in an hour. We can clean that room for you. The second floor is completely non-smoking. Well, I'll settle for that, uh, if that is all you have. But I was hoping to have a double since one of my friends might stay with me later this week. I see. Let me look at the seventh floor. Mrs. Smith Smithton, we can work this out. Room 711 has been serviced and is ready to go. It's a double room and is one of our non-smoking floors. Mm, that will be great. Thank you. My pleasure. Do you need one key or two? Mm, just one, please. Here you go. The mini bar is fully stocked with water, juices and snacks. A price list is in the room. Would you like me to put the hotel charges on the credit card you used to reserve the room? Yes, my MasterCard will be fine. Thank you. Enjoy your stay at the smart man. Please visit our concierge or front desk in if there is anything you need. We'll be happy to do what we can to make your time with us enjoyable. Mm. Excellent. Very good. That was a good one as well. Well, well um, pronounced all your words are good. This is a bit tricky. Concierge. Yeah, it's a French word. But all of you pretty much uh, said it correctly. Intonation was spot on as well with the questions. Very good. Okay, so moving down um, let's see if we can complete these uh, sentences with the suitable, the most suitable words that we have come across so far. Um, so, Xenia, what do you think is missing here? Um, friends getting together who haven't seen each other in a long time are having a reunion. Yes, very good. A reunion is, you know, a, a get-together of friends that you haven't seen for a, for a while, a long time. Maybe your old school friends, university friends, and so on. Okay, two. Um, Nikita? Um, Darren always requests a double room because he invites his brother to stay with him. Excellent. Yeah, a double room. All right, three. Stars? 
Uh, Nathan prefers a single room because it has one large bed. Yes, Nathan prefers a single room. Okay, Natalia, number four. Andrew was... When the hotel only had a single... Mm. not single room. Yeah, actually single room. Actually, we made one little hiccup here. You see these two. They are both single, but what's the difference with, with the beds? Single with big bed? bed? Yeah. yeah. Stas, what, what is this one? Uh, we said single room, but what... I, I don't, just don't know difference between double and twin. I think maybe it, it connects with this, no? Um, no, it's got to do with the size of the bed. Uh, king? What's, king? Yes, that's the one. So single king room, they yeah. call it. If you want a big bed, because you have many single rooms, but usually the single room has just a small bed, like a single bed. This is a king, king size bed. Okay, so had a single room, and here Andrew was... Was alone. Mm. Was sad? When yes, another word for sad. Disappointed. Yeah, disappointed. Mm -hmm. Andrew was disappointed when the hotel only had a single room. He wanted the extra bed. Mm. Okay, then we have um, five, Xenia. Uh, Lee works late at night, so she always buys water and snacks from the minibar. Excellent, minibar. Then we have six. Hmm. Kita. Uh, Lee asked about the. Uh, about the extra. Mm, this is tricky. Mm. Can anyone help Nikita? Leo ask about the possibility of having the mini bar completed. <laughs> oh yes, possibility, good. But the last one? Full. Okay. Stocked. Yes. Stocked. Fully stocked. Fully stocked. Fully stocked. She wants to have it fully stocked. That's it. Yeah. Okay, seven stars. Uh, Sarah opened the hotel room with the key. The clerk gave her, then she checked in. Excellent, yes. Okay, Natalia, eight. Team. The team was happy with the hotel. It was very clean, and the hotel had the rooms. Uh, Rooms cleaning. Yeah, past tense. Housekeeping, maybe. No? Cleaned. Cleaned. Oh, cleaned yeah. every day. They had the rooms cleaned every day. Yeah, passive. Okay, then we have nine. Xenia? John couldn't check into the room until after 3 p.m. because he had an. Uh, early check out? No, couldn't check the room. Because the, it it had an or the room had an. Ah, uh, had an uh, client who wasn't checking. Mm, yeah, what's another word for client here? You have a clue because it's an. Not an. A. Yes, so an. The first letter will be a vowel. Well, sound. Ah, oh, yes, I know this one. <laughs> well, sound. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Me too, because customer, guest, girl, boy, <laughs> not <Basically>, all. <laughs> when when somebody is using a room, or uh, you know, in the 
in the bathroom, in the toilet, if you know the public toilets, when one of the toilets is occupied, mm, who is it occupied? Sorry, and yes, occupants. occupants. Very good. <laughs> How do we spell occupant? O double S U. Yes. O double C. C. Yes. U. U P A N T. Very good. Thank you. And the last one, um, Nikita. I think it's your turn. Yeah. No, sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Christopher preferred uh, non-smoking room because he doesn't like cigarettes. Excellent. Very good. And here go the crazy um, pictures again with the crazy drug dealing. Yeah, okay, let's move down because this is pretty easy and self-explanatory. Ah, okay. So, who is saying what? This is a dialogue, by the way, and it's mixed up. We've done this um, yesterday, I believe, the day before. So the dialogues, who is saying what? We need to figure out who is saying what. Is it Bill or is it the, um, the customer? And what's the missing word? So the first one, who is saying it? Stas. It's Bill. Hello, welcome to the Smart Man Hotel. Very My easy. name is Bill. Okay, do the next one as well. Uh, here you go. The mini bar is fully stocked with lots of juices and uh, snacks. The price list is in the room. Would you like me to put the level? It's Bill. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so who is saying C? Uh, Natalia? Mrs. Smithton. Yeah. Do you have a reservation? Oh, no, 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 it's uh, Bill. Bill, yeah, the clerk. Yeah, he's asking the, the client, do you have a reservation? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, Natalia, what about D? Actually, no, our friend's floor is uh, non-smoking floor. Very maybe, good. Or maybe smoking floor. Oh, smoking, rather, smoking, yes. Smoking, it's a Bill. Yes, very good. Yes. Excellent, Bill again. E. Xenia. What name did you use to reserve the room? It's Bill. I need to check in. It's a woman. Yes. Miss. Us. I forgot. Smithton. Yeah, Smithton. Smithton. Yes. And G. Thank you. Let me locate a reservation on my computer. What brings you to Virginia, Bill? That's it. And H. I'm here to visit friends. My university classmates are meeting here for a re reunion. It's a woman again. Excellent. Very good. All right, Nikita, the next two. Yes, I made the reservation last month. Uh, it's uh, uh, Smith. Yes, Miss Smith. And I requested a non smoking double. If this room non smoking, it's also. Mm, Miss Smith. Uh, yeah. Very good, yeah. This is non smoking. All right, very good. Um, next, Stars. Uh, Smithton, that's spelled Smithton. It's uh, Smithton. <laughs> and the next one is Smithton, too. Oh, that's disappointing. Is there any possibility that you can change that for me? I'd really want a non smoking room. I'd really prefer. Okay, yeah, room. prefer is the one, yes. I'd really prefer a non smoking room. Excellent. And the last two, Natalia. Let me see what I can do. Oh, here, here we go. Room 2500 is, uh, is uh, non smoking. Is, mm. is it free? Is mm, no. I'm smoking maybe. The current um, cleaning is due to check out in an hour. 
we can no, we can clean the room. Somebody is still inside. Who is inside the room? It's my word. Yeah. yeah. We have in the chat. Yeah, we had it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. We can clean the room for you. The second floor is completely non-smoking. It's uh, click. Client? No. What's the other word for client? Uh, another word? Yeah, somebody that's occupying the room. We call them occupants. Ah. Ah, yeah. Yes, yes. yeah, you see in the chat. I don't know if you can see the chat or not. The occupant. Is the occupant. Yeah. yeah. And the first one was room 250 or 250 is a. Anyone? Available. No. Non smoking, I think. No. Single. Yes. It's a single. And then after that, um, the custom or the car, um, sorry, what's her name? Miss Smith. Did. She wasn't happy because she said, I have a friend coming later on. And so on. Yeah. Okay, and just one, please. And this is also Miss Smithton. Okay, well done. It goes on. Um, okay, let's let's finish it quickly. Um, Xenia. Uh, this sounds like fun. It's a Ben. Here, here it is. Or oh, Bill. We have room uh, eight one three for you. It's a double on. The, it's all non -smo non smoking on the eighth floor. Yes, yes. The next. Couple. That'd be great. Thank you, Smithton. Well, I'll. Mm -hmm. I'll forward if you have. I uh, look for for that if I. Accept? No. Yeah, what's the other word for accept? Good. Accept? I forget. Forget. I don't know. Starts with an S. Suspect? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> C S, S E settle settle very yeah. good. A settle uh, for that if that is all you have. But I was hoping to have a double since one of my friends might stay with me later right this week. Excellent, very good. All right, then the next um, Nikita. Yes, my master card will be fine. Thank you. It's Mrs. Simple. Mm -hmm. uh, I see. Let me look at the seventh floor, Mr. Smith, and we can uh, work this out. Room 711 has been serviced and it's ready to go. It's a double room and is on one of our non smoking floors. It's Bill. Yes, very good. Okay. Excellent. What about this one? T stars? It's Bill. Enjoy your stay at the Smart Man. Please visit our concierge mm -hmm. or desk. If there is anything you need, we'll be happy to do what we can to make your time with us enjoyable. Excellent. Very good. And finally, Natalia. My pleasure. Do you need one key or two? Very good. Do you need one key or two? Yes. Well done, guys. That was good. <clears throat> so there's a bit more here, maybe a couple more pages. Uh, to do, but we've run out of time, so we're going to wrap it up. I'll give you the link for this. And um, any questions? No questions. No, I'll see you tomorrow, Alan. All right, lovely. I hope you have a great day, guys. No, not tomorrow. At the moment. Uh, tonight? Oh, you're not you're not joining tonight. I'm going to theater. Oh well, have a great time. Thank you. See we'll you see you next week then. Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye, Alan. Take care. Bye. I'll place the link for those who want it. Um, yeah, I hope you have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye. You're most Thank welcome. you. Goodbye. Goodbye.